Okay, so this video is option C, fresh water, and the syllabus point is physical and economic water scarcity and the factors that control these, including the causes and impacts of droughts, the di distinction between water quantity and water quality. And yeah, okay, so let's first distinguish physical water scar scarcity. <laughs> oh my gosh, I literally can't. Look. Okay. It occurs when water consumption exceeds 60% of the usable supply. To help meet water needs, some countries actually import much of their food and invest in desalinization plants such as Saudi Arabia. On the other hand, economic water scarcity occurs when a country has sufficient water resources to meet its needs, but additional shortage and transport facilities are required. So that means investing on large and expensive water development products such as um, that in many sub-Saharan African countries. Okay. So what are the factors that control physical and economic water scarcity? So droughts are a huge cause and factor that play into both physical and economic water scarcity. So causes of droughts. First of all, we have shifting ITCZ. So basically, the ICTZ is the intertropical conversion zone, I think. And it basically depends on the movement of the sun in dry seasons dry seasons tend to occur with um when they're in the subtropical region there's high pressure belts um that lies across this particular area that's like 20 to 30 degrees north and south um and that prevents the formation of rain clouds then that leads to like dry conditions and the formation of deserts also can be caused by el nino not caused but kind of like encouraged um, which is the extensive upper warming of upper ocean in the tropical eastern in the eastern Pacific. During El Nino, there's a reversal in these trends, allowing the ITCZ to shift southwards and the trade winds reverse, and that creates much drier conditions in southeast in the Southeast Asian region. Another cause is global warming. So obviously, global warming, climate change can have an impact on drought and it makes them more extreme or less extreme and there's also the issue of population growth um as with population growth comes a lot of what's it called like strain upon water resources so that can possibly exacerbate drought and desertification and then finally economic growth again it's like the idea of industry use and larger demand which leads to more um, scarcity of water okay so what are the impacts of a drought well there's negative implications for agriculture lower yields economic growth may slow because water is like very heavily relied on um, in the industry deaths and diseases may increase because of a lack of access to water for drinking and for kind of rearing crops and also disease because waterborne disease may like change or maybe um just diseases because of the lack of like proper nutrition or proper uh, drinking water clean water for example refugees and displacement can occur malnutrition can occur rising food prices because of the strain upon crops and high cost of production for crops food aid needs increase overgrazing and over cultivation um, can also begin to take place because people are quite become quite desperate for food supplies that they are like willing to maybe sacrifice the environmental, um, their environmental resources for crops. Governments need financial assistance, so that creates an economic strain. There also may be higher incidences of forest fires. Okay, now water quality versus water quantity is a very important concept. So water quality is obviously just can, is the water safe? Can it be used for drinking? Um, is it contaminated? That kind of thing. So it needs to be con con it needs to be sufficient for consumption, and the WHO estimates that four million deaths per year result from water-related disease, and water quality is impacted by organic waste from sewage, fertilizers, pesticides from farming, heavy metals from industry, um, and just this idea of like production processes and like agrochemical runoff. And they can also lead to eutrophication, and then that worsens water um, scarcity. And then we have water quantity, which is the actual volume of water available. And that depends on rainfall, evaporation, transpiration, river and groundwater flows. So basically the drainage basin 
cycle, the water cycle, um, and yeah, so it's just this idea of the supply of water. So be aware of the difference between these two terms.